have time for a cup of coffee? Just about. Okay. Now, I want to hear about this man who's taking you to Ireland and for oysters, no less. What do you want to know? Like who he is? Well, his name is Jax. And he's fun. Can you imagine that I am going to actually have some fun? So please don't even think about telling me not to go. I didn't say a word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I assume from the luggage that you're Miss Barrett? Oh, well, so much for coffee. That would be me. Great. My name is Ronald. I'll be your driver. I have to be taking you to the airport this morning. Well, Ronald, I'll be right behind you. Ruby, I'll see you when I see you. You be good. Yeah, I'll try. Don't worry. It's only oysters. Very interesting comment, Sonny. You know something I don't? What I know is Brenda is a big girl and she can take care of herself. Yeah, well, like I just said, she happens to be extremely vulnerable right now. Yeah, well, she seemed extremely vulnerable yesterday when she made a big public announcement that she was flying off with Jax. You know, so, you know what? This guy is probably exactly what she needs. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just slip into a parallel universe or something? You want to run that by me again? You heard me. Why are you so shocked? Brenda and I tried to make it together. It didn't work. No big deal. Life goes on. You have never been able to let go of anything that easily. Much less a woman you loved. Loved, as in past tense. You should give me a little more credit for personal growth. Besides, you're forgetting. I'm a happily married man. <clears throat> right. And I wish Brenda the best. As a matter of fact, I hope that at this second, she is having the time of her life. Hello? You must be the irrepressible Ruby. And you are? Jax, I'm a friend of Brenda's. Oh. I... She's told me wonderful stories about you. Now, is she ready? Uh, we have to leave right away in order to make dinner tonight. This is very strange. Oh? I thought on the scale of one to ten my behavior was rather normal. It's not you, but Brenda's already left. Left for where? Well, a limo and a driver picked her up a while ago. Well, that is strange. You didn't send a car? No. It's a nice touch, isn't it? I'm sorry I can't stay to chat. It seems I have to find my date. Excuse me. So let me get this straight. Sitting before me right now, I see the new and improved Sonny Corintho. Yes. Then why do I have major alarm bells clanging in my head right now? That's your suspicious nature. Maybe you should work on that. Lighten up, boy. It's too early in the morning for all this intensity. <laughs> Please. Look who's pointing the finger at intensity. Well, this has been a real slice. But as you can see, Ned's not here. I got a lot of work to do. Is that your sort of way of asking me to leave? Well, you said you came here to see Ned. That I did. And I'll catch you later. Oh, uh, you know, for... Jax, in America, we have this really cute little custom. It's called actually waiting to hear someone say, come in after you knock on the door. Oh, I thought I heard that. Hello, Sonny. Jax. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jax told me the two of you know each other. Yeah, we've met. Hmm. Fascinating. What are you doing here anyway? I thought you'd be halfway to Ireland with Brenda by now. Well, we would have been. Except I seem to be missing one very important element. Brenda. Excuse me? I was hoping to find her here. Wait, I must have missed something. I've just come from Kelly's room. I meant to pick her up. It seems somebody beat me to it. Who? That seems to be the question. Whomever sent a limo for her. But I called all the car companies in the area on the way over here, and nobody seems to know anything about a pickup to Kelly's. Well, well, I don't like the sound of that at all. Doesn't seem to be bothering you any. Sonny? Uh, what's that? Did you just hear what Jax just said? About Brenda? Maybe, maybe she, she called it a limo. 
Oh, that's not the impression I got from Ruby. Well, I don't know what else it could be, unless maybe, you know, she uh, had a better offer. Hello? Yes, Miss Barrett. Hi. Can you tell me what's going on? Why is it taking so long? We're approaching the airport now. I had to make a slight detour due to road construction. We'll be there shortly. Okay. Anything to say, Sonny? I don't think so. You insinuated that Brenda would sell herself out to the highest bidder. She's not like that, and you know it. That was your wife with you at Luke's the other night, I believe. Lily? Yeah, that's right. Why? Well, it just gives me pause that, uh... A man with such a beautiful partner would be so knowledgeable about another woman. I went to school. But now I think of it as, uh, history classes. Yes, history being the operative word. Well, that's what Brenda led me to believe anyway. That would be accurate. Speaking of which, uh, it just so happens I got a lot of history around here, too. Lois and I, we, uh, we go way back. Ain't that right, Lois? I know. Gorgeous women everywhere. How lucky can a couple of guys get? Well, I feel pretty lucky. I, I really don't know about you. I guess it all depends on uh, what you're after. Oh, well, at the moment, Brenda. You wouldn't have any idea what might have happened to her. <coughs> Not a clue. Even speaking from your historical vantage point. Even then. Lois, you tell Ned I called. What a good idea. Maybe you should remember to do that next time before you drop by. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll see you later, okay? It's nice seeing you again, Jack. Why do I think he knows a lot more than he's saying? Oh, Jay. I can't imagine. Uh, 